अध्यक्ष राहुल गांधी इज सेट टू किक ऑफ द भारत जोड़ो न्याय यात्रा फ्रॉम टुडे फ्रॉम तौबाल डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन मणिपुर फॉलोइंग लास्ट मिनट चेंजेस ड्यू टू टेंशन इन द स्टेट राहुल गांधी विल बिगिन द यात्रा एट ट्वेल्व पी एम आफ्टर विजिटिंग द वॉर मेमोरियल सेवरल टॉप कांग्रेस लीडर्स एंड चीफ मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ कांग्रेस रूल स्टेट्स आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दिस यात्रा ऑफ फ्लैग ऑफ जय राम रमेश हैज सेट द सिलेक्शन ऑफ मणिपुर एज यात्रा स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट वॉज अ डेलीबरेट चॉइस एज अ रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ आर कंसर्न फॉर वॉट हैज हैपन हियर एंड ऑल्सो टू हाईलाइट दैट प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हैज नॉट मेट एनी ऑफ द पोलिटिकल लीडर ऑफ मणिपुर इन द लास्ट एट मंथ्स कोट एंड कोट So the yatra spanning 67 days and covering 6713 kilometers will transverse through 110 districts 100 lok sabha seats and 337 assembly segments across 15 states it will conclude in mumbai on march 20th and 21st the event faced obstacles earlier as the manipur government initially hesitated to grant permissions causing a political rift The Congress has called it an ideological yatra and not an electoral yatra. But this comes as the nation prepares for its biggest elections in the upcoming few months from now. Rahul ji, 11 baje aa rahe hain Imphal aur seedha Khongjom Yuddh Smarak jo hai, jo ek aitihasik jagah hai. जिसका उद्घाटन हमारे देश के राष्ट्रपति प्रणब मुखर्जी जी ने जब इबोबी सिंह जी मुख्यमंत्री थे उन्होंने किया था 2016 में इसका महत्व केवल मणिपुर के लिए नहीं है परंतु सारे देश के लिए है नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग दिस यात्रा फ्रॉम मणिपुर टू मुंबई basically 6500 kilometers and more than 100 districts because now we have added arunachal pradesh also we are lacking social justice in this country we are lacking economical justice in this country of course political justice is not at all here unemployment is a biggest problem india is in a high rank on unemployment rur rahul gandhi is going this yatra for seeking justice for the youth of this country basically raising this issue of giving justice for all people it will co- it will cover poor people it will cover women it will cover youth it will cover farmers so no, we are putting a narrative in front of the country through this yatra let's go across to my colleague niyamika who joins us live here on the broadcast niyamika a very good morning to you you know we are learning that rahul gandhi is all set to kick off the bharat jodo nyay yatra from today onwards from manipur's war memorial and what all details are you gathering in right now from his itinerary so that's absolutely right this is uh, the bharat jodo yatra 2.0 which is being named as the bharat nyay yatra as it is going to start from today onwards from the state of manipur as uh, rahul gandhi is expected to arrive here at 11 o'clock and uh, this yatra is going to be start off at 12 o'clock in which uh, all of the senior congress leaders including the congress president malikarjun kharge and uh, the congress mp rahul gandhi are going to be present there as uh, this is going to be a hybrid yatra as uh, uh, for some distance rahul gandhi is going to walk and uh, for the uh, the rest of the distance will be covered by a bus as uh, it is being expected that uh, rahul gandhi will also interact with uh, uh, some of the civil organizations as well as uh, uh, this is being named as the bharat jodo nyay yatra the congress party is saying that they want to give a message uh, that this is for the justice uh, which needs to be given uh, to the people of this country and that is the reason why this yatra is being started uh, from uh, the state of manipur because uh, the congress party is saying that uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, problems which the manipur people have faced and that is the reason why congress uh, leader rahul gandhi wants to spread out a message that congress is there for them congress is there, there to hear to their problems as uh, uh, yesterday also jairam ramesh the congress general secretary has attacked prime minister narendra modi by saying uh, that uh, it was a responsibility of the pm uh, that he should have spoken to several of the leaders in the state of manipur but he hadn't spoken about manipur and, and, and not even uh, to the people of manipur and that is the reason why congress uh, wants to give out this message that uh, they are being there for the people of manipur right niyamika has correctly pointed out and also congress has said that this is more of an ideological yatra as compared to an electoral yatra but how is the opposition reacting over this uh, bharat jodo 2.0 yatra i would like to know from you 
Well, that's absolutely right. We have seen how uh, the Congress Party has been kept on saying that this is not an electoral yatra. This is basically a yatra which is being taken, uh, taken out by a political party. It has political themes, but not for the elections. As uh, this question was also being asked from the Congress General Secretary, Jairam Ramesh, and he said that uh, the Congress leader, Rahul Gandhi, wants to listen to the problems of the people, and that is the reason why he's taking out uh, this Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra. But it has nothing to do with the Bharat, uh, with the, uh, the upcoming Lok Sabha elections. However, the Congress Party has also invited the other India Alliance partners as well. They have said that it is very much important for other uh, leaders to come out uh, and uh, support this Bharat Jodo Nyaya Yatra so that a message can be given to the people of this country that India Alliance leaders are there with them against the BJP. All right, Nyamika, I appreciate you joining us live here on the broadcast and bringing us all those details related to Bharat Joro Nyayatra.